Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss a look at Stephen Curry's insane sneaker collection. Let's get right into it. Stephen Curry began his NBA career as a Nike athlete after being selected 7th overall in the 2009 draft out of Davidson. He wore Nike Hyper Dunk and Hyper Fuse PEs for his first few seasons on the court. The Clutch Fit Drive and Anatomic Spawn were his first Under Armour shoes after an unpleasant pitch meeting with Nike officials in 2013. In 2015, he released his own signature shoe, the Curry. Before Steph Curry came along, Under Armour was a minor player in the NBA, but his cachet has made it one of the league's fastest growing companies. A brand within a brand, like Dwayne Wade's Way of Wade and Lee Ning, or Michael Jordan's Nike Jordan brand, was formed by Curry and UA in 2020. To see what sneaker styles are included in his collection, just keep on watching. Under Armour Curry 8 To kick off the new Curry brand, Curry Flow 8 is the first signature sneaker released. The outsole is made of all foam and is extremely gripping making it the best attribute of the shoe. Moreover, the cushion is comfortable to sit on while still allowing for excellent court feel and response. It was deemed the greatest padding in the Curry lineup by reviewers. The upper is made of a breathable, stretchy fabric with synthetic overlays for further support. These are a little on the small side, thus most people will need to go up a half size. Curry support and security measures are second to none and will not cause you any problems. Most basketball players will be pleased with the Curry 8's performance. The price increase of $20 to $160 is well worth it. Under Armour Curry 303 Considering its low price of $90, the Curry 303 is great value for money. On dusty courts, the traction is still excellent and doesn't require any wiping. In terms of comfort and support, the synthetic leather breaks in well and gives a snug and supportive one-to-one -one fit. The Micro-G cushioning is the only negative aspect of the shoe. Those who seek responsiveness and court feel over impact protection should definitely search elsewhere for a configuration like this one, which works best for lighter players. Under Armour Curry 7 the traction of the Curry 7 is excellent and works on all courts, as is the case with most Under Armour sneakers. Because of its firmness and lack of impact protection, the Micro G-HOVR cushioning combo is only suggested if you want the best court feel and responsiveness possible. Although the support features are typical, they perform exceptionally well, especially for a low-top sneaker. Unfortunately, the Curry 7's materials feel cheap and plasticky and are not befitting of a costly trademark model, but they do the job. All in all, the Curry 7 is a strong performance for gamers who prefer responsive low tops with excellent traction. Under Armour Curry 4 Low The sole of the Curry 4 Low is the same as that of the Curry 4 High model. When it comes to the excellent multi-directional traction pattern and the cheap and minimum EVA cushioning system, that's a positive thing. The high version's low-cost synthetic uppers have been largely replaced by a higher quality and more comfortable textile knit. For speedy guards searching for a light, responsive and minimal shoe with a low top design, the Curry 4 Low is the best option. Under Armour Curry 3 this is only Under Armour's second signature line for Curry, but it's already a standout among its peers for its dependability and performance. Steph Curry's style of play lends itself perfectly to this shoe, which provides excellent traction and court feel for rapid crossovers and dribbles to the basket. Cushioning and impact protection is low for Steph because of his lightweight and lack of ability to play above the hoop. Under Armour Curry 9 Curry Flow 9 continues to build on the success of its predecessors, the 8th generation model. There's nothing wrong with having the same traction pattern and substance because that is a good thing. The performance has been praised by critics for its excellence in this aspect. The responsiveness and court feel of the cushioning are outstanding. Although the cushion provides appropriate impact protection, it does not go far enough in protecting the user. The quality of the materials has greatly improved since last year and they now have a premium performance feel to them. Despite its small size, it's incredibly light and thin. After a few years, the materials begin to mould to your foot. Curry support and lockdown continue to be excellent, much like the rest of his line. The Curry Flow 9 is widely regarded as one of the top basketball sneakers on the market today and the shoe is a joy to wear. Under Armour Curry 302 Despite the fact that hardly anyone likes the way Under Armour Curry 302 appears, the majority of critics are impressed by its performance. In terms of performance, the traction is outstanding and can be used on any terrain, including grass and sand. A remarkable combination of responsiveness and impact protection is provided by the Micro G and charged cushioning and outperforms the cushioning in more expensive Steph Curry trademark versions. The only drawbacks of this shoe are the absence of a heel counter and the minor concerns with forefoot control. It's a solid performer for the money and it's easy to use. Which stands out to you the most? Let us know in the comments section below. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. 
Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.